So in the news, uh, you've probably seen FTX. FTX is a crypto exchange that has gone, um, uh, has filed for bankruptcy protection. Uh, crazy news coming out of how the company was run, uh, really no accounting whatsoever, loans everywhere to all kinds of subsidiaries. It's a big mess. Um, essentially, the people that were storing cryptocurrency on the exchange have a very good chance of not getting any of that money back. And you know, I, we've had a few questions, not many from the client base, but I wanted to make sure that one, um, we don't invest in cryptos inside Wise Wealth Management portfolios. I'm not saying that we would never would. I, I definitely think it's part of the future, but I don't think this is a safe environment to be doing this in uh, from our scale, uh, from, from an investment uh, manager standpoint. Um, individually, m I think many of our clients do own some type of crypto, whether it be uh, Bitcoin or, or, or anything uh, related to that. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, we just want to make sure you're doing that on a platform uh, such as Coinbase that uh, has gives you a little more protection. Coinbase would still own the actual coin itself. Um, you would not, but uh, it seems to be a more stable, more scrutinized uh, platform than these others that, that have popped up uh, uh, over the last couple of the um, last couple of years. Uh, it, the FTX fallout really hasn't affected our portfolios or the market in general. It's been really isolated into crypto. Um, so it's not, it's not really having, even though it's covering all the headlines, it's not really having a negative effect on uh, investing in general. I think it's important to uh, learn from this. There, there needs to be regulation inside the crypto world uh, here in the U.S. to prevent things like this from happening. Um, you know, technically, it's a foreign company based in the Bahamas, um, but Again, there's not much regulation here. There's not much regulation anywhere, really, um, when it comes to that. But uh, just be reassured that the FTX fallout really has nothing to do with the S&P 500 at this point. Uh, it is very interesting to me to see um, all the big hedge funds or the uh, private equity funds and the amount of money, billions of dollars they put into FTX, which had to be almost with no, dilig no due diligence whatsoever. It's, it's actually quite comical. Um, these guys that run these firms are always like the smartest guys in the room or, or want us to believe that. Um, in this case, uh, uh, this is, it has to be pretty embarrassing um, for them and, and their client base. Um, I, will, I will add, uh, we do talk about this a little bit more on our crypto podcast I do with Robert Schwarzout, a good friend of mine who is a uh, manager at Teton uh, Crypto Capital. Um, he's... Uh, um, overseeing uh, the management of, of, of that fund's assets. Uh, and you can, you can see that. We'll post uh, the crypto podcast uh, link below if you're interested in learning more. Thanks for watching.